Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. RHOBH, Erica Jane's estranged husband found guilty of fraud. RHOBH star Erica Jane's estranged husband, Tom Gerwardy has been found guilty of fraud. This is a trial no one was certain would happen given he allegedly has dementia. He was deemed competent to stand trial and now the verdict is in. So what else happened on this big day? Keep reading for all of the details. Orich OB8 Erica Jane's estranged husband found guilty of fraud. Erica Jane was always so proud of her husband, Tom Brevardi. He was a famed lawyer known for the Aaron Brockovich case which became a movie starring Julia Roberts. His career afforded Erica an amazing lifestyle and the ability to pursue her dreams as a performer. Yet her marriage was empty as Tom had been cheating on Erica for years so, on election day 2020, she filed for divorce. The hope was to bury the story but that did not happen and Bravo followed her trials and tribulations. It soon came out that Tom had been stealing from his clients. This was terrifying for Erica because she had no idea how this would impact her. Even her RHOBH co-stars questioned if she knew what Tom had done, but she maintained that she knew nothing. They also felt she lacked empathy for the victims, but she did meet them in person down the line. As for Tom, he had been moved into a memory care facility after being diagnosed with late-onset Alzheimer's and dementia in March 2021. Now, according to Us Weekly, Tom, 85, has been found guilty of four counts of fraud. It is not just Tom Berardi who is in trouble. His former colleague from Berardi Keys, Christopher Casio Kamen, is also facing charges as well. Attorney Estrada had this to say in 2023. The echo of a gavel hitting wood reverberated through the courtroom, a sharp punctuation mark to a drama that had captivated both the legal world and reality television fans alike. Thomas Trevardi, once a legal titan and husband to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, star Erica Jane, was found guilty of fraud in a case that had been brewing for years. The verdict marked the culmination of a dizzying fall from grace, transforming a man who had once been celebrated as a champion for the little guy into a cautionary tale of hubris and deceit. The courtroom was a far cry from the glitz and glamour of Beverly Hills, where Thomas Gerardi and Erica Jane once reigned as one of the town's most powerful couples. In the sterile, fluorescent-lit space, the gravity of the situation was palpable. As the judge read the verdict, Gerardi sat motionless, his once imposing figure now hunched and frail. His decline was as much a spectacle as the trial itself, a physical manifestation of the moral rot that had been festering for years. For Erica Jane, the verdict was a double-edged sword. The woman known for her larger-than-life persona, complete with platinum hair, sky-high stilettos, and a penchant for bold declarations, now found herself at the center of a storm she never saw coming, or perhaps she did. The whispers had started long before the trial, murmurs that the pop star-turned-reality TV icon must have known about her husband's alleged misdeeds. How could she not? They lived in the same mansion, shared the same lavish lifestyle, and enjoyed the spoils of Gerardi's success. Or so it seemed. Erica's defense, both on and off the show, had been a mix of defiance and vulnerability. She maintained her innocence, claiming she was just as shocked as everyone else when the allegations against Gerardi first surfaced. But as the legal noose tightened around her husband, the skepticism grew. Erica Jane, the ice queen of Beverly Hills, suddenly found herself in the uncomfortable position of being judged, not just by a court of law, but by the court of public opinion. The case against Thomas Gerardi was a labyrinthine affair, involving multiple lawsuits, millions of dollars in stolen client funds, and a web of deceit that spanned years. Girardi, once a celebrated attorney who had taken on powerful corporations and won, was accused of embezzling settlement funds meant for the victims he represented. The stories were heartbreaking, widows and orphans who had lost everything, burn victims whose lives had been shattered, all waiting for money that never came. In the courtroom, the evidence was damning. Prosecutors presented bank records, testimonies from former clients, and a paper trail that painted a picture of a man who had abused his power and betrayed the very people he had sworn to protect. Gerardi's defense tried to argue that he was suffering from cognitive decline, that he wasn't fully aware of what he was doing, but the jury didn't buy it. The verdict was unanimous. Guilty on all counts. 
As the news broke, the reaction was swift. Social media erupted with a mix of Freud and disbelief. RHOBH fans dissected every moment, every statement Erica had made on the show, looking for clues, for signs that she might have known more than she let on. The hashtags trended, memes were created, and the gossip mill churned at full speed. But behind the scenes, the reality was far more complex. Erica Jane, the woman who had built a brand on being unapologetically herself, was now facing the fallout of a life that had spun out of her control. Her music career, her reputation, her financial stability, all were in jeopardy. The lawsuits against her piled up, with plaintiffs alleging that she had benefited from Berardi's ill-gotten gains. Her once loyal fans began to question their allegiance, wondering if the Erica they had come to love was really as innocent as she claimed. In a rare interview after the verdict, Erica was uncharacteristically subdued. Gone was the bravado, the glint in her eye that had made her a star. Instead, she spoke of betrayal, of feeling blindsided by the man she had once loved. I never knew, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. I never knew what he was doing, but the words rang hollow, even to her own ears. The fallout from the verdict was immediate. Gerardi's law firm, once a powerhouse in the legal world, crumbled. His assets were seized, his name tarnished beyond repair. For Erica, the road ahead was uncertain. The cameras kept rolling, capturing every twist and turn in the saga, but the glitz and glamour that had once defined her life now seemed like a distant memory. In Beverly Hills, the city of dreams where appearances are everything, the Durardi scandal was a stark reminder that even the most gilded lives can hide dark secrets. The verdict was not just a condemnation of Thomas Durardi, but a cautionary tale for all those who live in the spotlight. The Los Angeles courtroom buzzed with tension as the verdict was read, guilty. The word echoed through the halls, signaling the dramatic downfall of one of Beverly Hills' most infamous figures. Tom Garrardi, once a titan of the legal world and the estranged husband of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane, had been found guilty of fraud. For months, the trial had captivated both legal experts and reality TV fans alike. Tom Garrardi, known for his role in landmark cases against corporations like Pacific Gas and Electric, was no stranger to the spotlight. However, this time, he wasn't the hero fighting for justice, but rather the villain in a courtroom drama that would rival anything seen on Bravo. Erica Jane, whose real name is Erica Garrardi, had been a staple on RHOBH for years. Her glamorous lifestyle, over-the-top fashion, and unapologetic attitude made her a fan favorite. But as Tom's legal troubles began to surface, Erica found herself at the center of a media storm. The accusations against Tom were severe, embezzling millions of dollars meant for victims of tragedies, including plane crash victims and burn survivors, to fund his lavish lifestyle. And by extension, questions were raised about Erica's role in the whole debacle. As the trial progressed, Erica maintained her innocence, insisting she knew nothing about Tom's alleged misdeeds. Her fellow housewives were divided, with some offering support and others questioning her narrative. The show itself took on a darker tone, with the legal battles overshadowing the usual drama about dinner parties and designer labels. In the days leading up to the verdict, speculation ran rampant. Could Tom Garrardi, once revered as a champion of the people, really be guilty of such heinous crimes?